Greetings, one and all. It is me, Cat, aka Black Moon Rose 13. I'm here to do a video speed paint tutorial thingy. Question mark. Um. Okay. Um. Excuse me. I have to go grab something. Uh. A while back. Um. Someone. Oh God, that's so horrible. Um requested um a while back someone had requested uh how do i do textures on my uh artwork and i said i would do a video of it and i've been putting it off due to cold sniffles then i had to go to this thing and also i couldn't figure it out now originally i was just going to do a texture on a simple ball on a simple ball you know el simpleo but then i decided why not just use one of my very simple speed paint one of my very simple artworks and just use that instead because this artwork will have multiple textures knock on plastic I have no wood in this room well my t desk but I don't even think it's real so um we'll just uh, do that I mean it's gonna be a little bit different but uh let's try this <laughs> First, uh, make sure your colors are, uh, now, uh, I'll be working on this piece of artwork known as, uh, the, uh, well, it's called Princess, but originally I called it the Re Young Red Queen back in my days of loving Alice in Wonderland. I still love Alice in Wonderland. So, uh, first, you pick up your colors, like that, like I did, then we'll color. Uh, turn off pressure. And then we'll just color a little. Da, 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 da. I feel like Bob Ross now. I should be doing ASMR. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, no, nothing against ASMR, but not my thing. Oops, I'm using the wrong color. That's the right color. Oh, <laughs> in case anyone was curious how I did that. Um, new layer. Uh, s create clipping mask, which I set to my computer as Control G, which is what it used to be on Photoshop 7 before I moved to CS5. And then basically, uh, boop. I just use a paint bucket and go like that. Then just merge, which is Control E. Oh, by the way, all lessons for this will be done in Photoshop CS5. I use Photoshop CS5. Although now I'm using Paint Tool Sci a little bit, but that's mostly for sketching and drawing, not for um, um, painting. Although I have tried painting a little bit on that thing, and it looks wretched. I'm so used to Photoshop. So used to it. Might also speed up this video, speed up this coloring bit part. Who knows? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it this way because now I remember to do it. And also, also, you know, learning how to texture with a sphere is totally different. I mean, I could have done a sphere. It would have been so simple. My brain right now is going, why didn't you do a sphere? Spheres are easy. I go, because I wanted to do something kind of a la Bob Ross. You know, with the happy little trees. Now we paint the happy little trees. Also, this is a great way to answer a bunch of questions that people always ask me when I'm doing my artwork. Like, for like. <laughs> So funny. Even though I use a tablet, I still use my keyboard. Well, it's a El Cheapo. El Cheapo. $70. Yeah, that's cheap. Right. Anyway, like for example, when people ask me about shading and everything, I can also cover that question. Oh, still a few other bits to color if I remember correctly from my old bit. 
Yes, I do. <laughs> Can you see anything in the camera? Ah, there we go. Now also, for this little additional bit, I can just do that, like that. Now by the way, I am no need the greatest artist on the planet, or extreme, though I wish I could be, and I wish I could be professional and get paid for this, sadly I don't. And you know, if you wish to support this lovely little artist, I have a Patreon, a uh, link in the description, I've been doing a... Patreon stuff now. I have actual Patreon exclusives now. So, okay. Textures. When doing a texture, don't worry, this image will have multiple textures, so I will be do going over this over and over again. Now, this is my texture folder. I have amassed many textures through my years of making, uh, th when I used to do 3DS, mo 3DS Max modeling. And I amassed the textures that came available through the 3DS uh, modeling texture, uh, mo the 3DS, uh, I had a book, it, when I was in tech school, there was a book, it had a, um, bunch of text, sock textures on it, I took those, it's perfectly legal, it stated you can use them on for your own free will in your projects, so I'm using them in my projects, just not in 3D form. And I've collected other ones, and although most of it is from the actual art, le from the actual 3D thing, 90% of them are in, uh, 75. Okay, so when doing it, I have mine all labeled and everything to an extent. I really need to organize anyway. So we're doing a fabric. So where is ah? Then even more fabric! Woo! And let's see, uh, velvet. And I made this seamless velvet from an old velvet texture I had long ago. It's available, actually available as stock art on my DeviantArt page. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit too big for my liking, so... Because if you make the texture too big, it doesn't look right. Trial and error, trial and error. Oh, also, make sure if you're doing a uh, resizing, hit the maintain aspect ratio, which is that little chain looking thing. So, you know, you have a cute idea. Now, I could leave it like that, but I'm not gonna. Control Shift U, which basically makes it all black and white. Control G, which, I'm um, sorry. <sighs> Create clipping mask. Because not everyone does the same shortcuts as you, dimwit. Now, I set mine to overlay. And that's how I do my textures. Overlay. Like that. Now, there's going to be someone out there who does more texture work than me. And is going to be like, oh, you shouldn't do it to overlay. You should do it to, like, soft light. Well, your opinion, not mine. I'd have fill in a couple of empty spots. Anyway, also... Anyway, I'm going to say anyway a lot. Live with it. This is all done at random. I don't have a script. Also, let's not forget the shading. Ugh! There we go. Lip smacking. Now, when I do shading, I like to try it one, try to keep it at normal size so everyone can see it. Uh, I use Gaussian Blur. Now, everyone, I, is anyone who's ever watched my uh, How to Art video knows I do this. So, but there are people who haven't watched my How to Art. That's too big. How to Art video, so you know. Uh, five, six, five, four, five, five. 
And then I do light. I do double on the light. And then I do the light to light. I reduce the light to 50. Now, between you and me, I like to uh, lower the opacity on the texture just to make it a little less abrasive sometimes. Because that can sometimes happen. Sorry, Thursday. Just woke up this morning. Yes, this video is recorded in the morning. Most of my videos are recorded in the mornings. To afternoon, to evening. I spend a whole day dedicated to it. And then, voila! That is how I do textures. There is a blank spot there, and it's going to bug the crap out of me if I don't fix it. Now, the downside is to doing texture and everything. I can't do my control C trick. Not control C, control S trick. Not control S, my, uh, my clone stamp trick. Blah! English woman. So I have to make sure all lines are filled and everything's practically perfect! There we go. Because there's texture, and if you notice a discrepancy in the texture, they will know that you did your. St I did my st clone stamp trick, and then people get mad. Okay. Now we'll do the skirt. Which I made into black. Right. Because I was going through a phase. Well, I was trying to go for a Queen of Hearts like look. Background's gonna be fun, because I hate that background. Because that background is god awful. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm sorry. Maybe I could put some like some music on the underground and be like, yeah, music. But you know, something gentle and soft, like some piano music. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh. It just licked the tip of my tablet pen out of habit. Now, I could do that in leather, like I did last time, but now that I'm older and wiser, I can tell you, leather don't do that! So, I could do it in denim? I think denim's an awesome skirt. Who wears denim with velvet? And leather's so fun! But leather don't move like that! I can always go fuck to the wind and just say Wonderland rules, bitches, and just be like, yeah, bitches, Wonderland rules. Could do velvet again. As before, everybody. Now, you could do overlay without doing this, and it would still make a nice little um, overlay of black, overlay of reddish, if you want to do that. I, I don't want to with this image. I've done it in other images before. I'm not going to tell you which ones, because I can't remember them off the top of my head. Da 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 da
There. Again, we'll do check shading. I do all my shading beforehand before anyone asks me before I do recordings because sometimes the image itself takes a long time to shade and it's a pain in the butt. Also, for black, at least for me, I don't do 50, I do like 25. Sometimes I adjust the shade, the shade itself. You know, because I don't want it too dark. I mean, I want it dark, but not too dark. Because if you go too dark, you have problems. Right, princess? Now, I could talk about how I also do um, color something. Whatever. Brain does not know how to work. Don't sing that song, woman. You don't want to get copyright issues. And <laughs> <laughs> I really should not stick my title of in my mouth. I will horrible how it internet. Horrible. Now, um... I need some metal for this one. So, uh, metal. Go, gadget, go. Hmm. Sometimes I like to break out blur tool. You know, when it's small and tiny like this. I do it for eyes. And lips. Eyes and lips get the blur tool treatment. Because, you know, they're so tiny and minute and, you know, intimate. Oh, and sometimes you have issues with your textures not actually showing up fully. So what I like to use is auto contrast, which sometimes can bite me in the butt, and sometimes I have to do contrast manually. But you know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on the um, texture itself. Hmm. Need a little bit more. Uh, This. Ah! Too dark. But I can fix that with overlays. Not overlays, uh, opacities. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now. Now we go for the rest of the body. Now I could either A, speed this up, or B, just talk random questions. Okay, we'll just talk random things. Uh, Cat, how do you do your skins? That. <laughs> Seriously, I found this on a 
on DeviantArt, and it has all these skin textures, and I just use this, because I can't make skin textures manually with my life dependent on it. It's a great reference. There is nothing wrong with using references, by the way. Nothing. Nothing. I use them all the time. How do you color? Oh, there's no real idea. Just fill in the area. Now, a lot of people tell me to use paint bucket or, you know, pen tool. I don't really like using paint bucket for some reason because when I use it on darker colors, it seems off. But that just might be me and my contrast on my computer. Which is not set super high, by the way. Not trying to be popular belief. At least I hope not. Okay, skin. Now, I would do freckles because I've been on a freckle craze lately, but, you know, Queen of Hearts, no freckles. Gotta be all pale and creepy like that. I use that's motion blur. I need Glossian. Oopsie. Mm. A little too pale for my fit take liking. Ew, too dark. There we go. Mole or no mole? Mole. Okay, let's see. What was I thinking with this hair? God, it's horrible! I mean this, this, right here. This. What, what was I thinking? If former me is watching this somehow via time warp, please explain, former me. Also the eye. Let's see. I don't know why I 
was going for this. a little better than the last artwork I did. That looks a lot better than the last eye I did. Ay ay ay. Now for the lips, we go like this. There, that looks human. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out the background for this thing soon. I have an idea. Dear, but I don't like it. Overlay. Way too dark. Fifty percent. 25%. No percent. Okay. Okay, let's think. Think, 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 think. Thinking hurts. Aha! No. Yes! No. Yes! Hmm. 
We gotta do something that looks nice, cause that don't look nice. That looks like shit. No. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe. Both fails out of gradient. <laughs> I swear I'm relying on these too much. Hmm. Where is my white? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I have special uh, actions just for white. Because... Damn it, white is hard to work with. Okay, that's looking semi better. See, backgrounds are my hard point, I, I will admit to this. Why do you think my backgrounds are so simple, or non-existent? Waka waka. Waka waka doo doo, yeah. Okay, let's load some brushes. Yes, I have brushes. Uh, red headstock, by the way. Wonderful brushes. Hearts.
little brushes. Where's hearts too? That could work. Then we can just do nothing for the background. Oh yeah. There we go. That could work. Yeah, I actually kind of like it. Mm. Should have wondered. Creamy white. Let's see what goes with that. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that doesn't really work. And then we just go like that. There we go. Little heart motif. Simple. Simple's nice. I don't do it often, do I? Now I just add my tip, my uh, watermark, because you know, art these are dicks.
All right. And then that art is done. Um, hope you like this semi-tutorial slash how I art. Thank you for watching. Bye, Z.